So I think what really pulls me in is just how incredibly and undeniably beautiful it is here. They're on every corner something new, whether it be a castle or a gorgeous lake. It's just absolutely spectacular. It seems endless. My name is Bree. I am the creator behind IFC. In 2018, I booked a one way ticket to South America with a guy I just met, and we chased our dreams of traveling and becoming photographers. Flash forward four years, now I do it solo. It came with a ton of challenges, but it's pretty awesome. Today we are at Lago di Landro, and we are about to frame some shots. I'm gonna go with the Hamron 50 to 400 for this. It's incredible because I could shoot something wider if I need to, or something telephoto, not have to swap lenses. I really enjoy having a variety of focal lengths. You know, you gotta do a vertical for Instagram. You wanna know one of the most common questions I, I get when I'm uh, doing these trips? It's like, well, if you travel alone, who takes your videos and your photos? Well, okay, just gonna turn on the interferometer. Here I go. <laughs> Last July, I booked a one-way ticket to the Dolomites, which I am back here now. My goal behind doing that was to learn how to do this whole thing completely by myself. That's pretty. Sun? Hello? Looks pretty sweet. So what do you think the most common misconception about what you do is? Um, that I'm on a constant vacation. <laughs> it's part of the job to make it look like that. <laughs> to provide everybody with that wanderlust. But um, it's definitely am amazing, like I wouldn't want to be doing anything else, but it's sure as hell not vacation. <laughs> if I were to give advice to anybody that would want to do this as well, I would say you have to believe in yourself more than anyone or anything. Because that's the most important thing, you have to know that you can achieve this and just continue to go for it and don't stop for anything. I'm a big believer in manifestation. I remember years ago, I used to see people posting on social media, gorgeous landscape shots, just traveling full time and not understanding how to do it. But there was something in me, it was like this burning sensation that I just had to get out and chase after that dream. I just knew that if I kept going through everything, through any obstacle, through having absolutely no money, that this would become my lifestyle somehow, some way. I think a lot of what I share on I of She are these really fantastical moments. So these larger than life landscapes, landscapes that really wow everyone when they see them, they make you say, this exists. Something that gives my audience a real fantastical feel, something with a little bit of magic in it. So I enjoy putting myself in the images because I really feel like it creates this human element which allows people to connect to the image more, feel like they can also be there seeing these views for themselves. Having a job doing something freelance, it's a skill set of its own because yeah, you don't have anybody really telling you what to do, so you really have to be on your game constantly and waking yourself up early and making sure you get to locations on time. and just kind of not stopping and having that constant drive to push you forward and yeah, it is honestly the best job. I love not having a boss, but it's pretty hard work. We're heading to the Church of St. John in Val de Funes here in the Dolomites. Very exciting. The church is a classic. It's absolutely gorgeous. Can't wait for you to see it. In the beginning, I think with my journey, it was more so about traveling and chasing the adventure. And then eventually it became this really cool thing where I started realizing that somehow my own story was a bit of an inspiration to people. And that really moved me to continue going. And it's still something that's really wild to hear when people reach out and share that with me. And it's something that's, that's really, really incredible.